Hi again, Risa here, back with another episode of Ask Risa. This is my weekly video series where I discuss common wedding planning questions and give you some tips and advice if you are trying to plan your own wedding. I'm a wedding planner based in Sacramento, California. My company is Risa James Events, and I have a bunch of other videos in this series. They're all on my YouTube channel, grouped together in an Ask Risa playlist. So you can find all kinds of information there if this is the first video you're catching. So this week I want to talk about linens, uh, which by linens we mean tablecloths and napkins. Linen is just a fancy way of saying tablecloth. Um, the tablecloths are usually not made out of linen. They can be, but linen, actual linen tablecloths are pretty expensive. So almost always there's some sort of polyester blend because that's a little easier to care for, uh, easier to clean, that sort of thing. So I say linens, I just mean tablecloths because Tablecloths are a surprisingly large part of what you have to figure out when you're having a wedding. So there's basically like four main ways that you can get your wedding linens. Some venues will provide them as part of their wedding package. If they do, their color options are usually pretty limited. They will usually have white. White is the most common tab tablecloth cover to color to have. Um, they may also have ivory or black, but that's probably the extent of it. Some caterers also provide linens, and again, limited colors, white, ivory, black, tend to be the, the standards. Um, or it's possible that your catering company, even if they don't have them on hand and provide them, they will manage your rental order to get them, be especially if they're already going to be renting the plates, the silverware, the glassware, all that sort of stuff. They'll just manage the linen rental as part of the, uh, the rest of those items that they have to rent, because most catering companies have relationships with um, supply stores and, and rental companies, and so they get a good price on that stuff. I mean, you're still paying for the rental, but at least your catering company is managing the details. So if one of those two uh, vendors isn't doing it, then you basically you're left doing it yourself. So you have the option of either renting them or buying them. Some people might think buying them is an attractive option because they're, they're pretty inexpensive. Renting them is not expensive either, but buying them in some cases on the internet, you can get tablecloths for like $6 a piece, which is really inexpensive. But you may not be taking into account the hassle factor because when you're buying them, you have to buy them far enough in advance to have them shipped to you and then they need to be prepped because those tablecloths are gonna be folded up and stuck in plastic bags and then mailed to you in a box. They're gonna be heavily creased and they're not gonna look good when they come out of the bag. So if you want your linens to look good, you're gonna to have to unpackage all of those linens and iron them all. They all have to be pressed and then you'll have to hang them on hangers and transport to them to the venue yourself on the hangers so that either your planner or coordinator or your uh, catering staff can put them on the tables. So that's pain number one. And then at the end of the night, those linens are gonna be dirty. They will have had drinks spilled on them. People will have ground cake into them. I have seen a lot of weird stuff happen to tablecloths in the aftermath of a wedding. I, you know, I'm there for the cleanup. So I get to see that the, the shape that these things are in is not good at the end of the wedding. So if you expect to resell them or something, because what else are you going to do with them? You don't, you're never going to need that many tablecloths again. So reselling them is the only thing that makes any sense. Then you can, um, when you bring them home, you have to launder them and then you have to probably press them again and then find someone to buy them and then ship them to that person. So it's just a lot of hassle. I don't recommend buying them. Renting them is the way to go because you'll tell the rental company what you want. You can change your order, usually up to two or three days before your wedding, you can adjust your order. The rental company will deliver them to you. They'll be freshly laundered and freshly pressed and they'll be on hangers so they won't be wrinkled or creased or anything. And then at the end of the night, we just throw them in bags. The rental company picks them up, takes them back. They launder them, they press them again, they hang them up and they're ready for the next person to, um, to rent. And it's no hassle for you. So I definitely recommend renting. That's the way to go. So now that I've talked you into renting tablecloths, you have to figure out what size tablecloths you need. There are actually quite a few um, like tablecloth size charts out on the internet. They're pretty easy to find. Um, so I'm just gonna run through the highlights here. The two most common sizes for guest tables are a 60 inch round and a 72 inch round. 
The 60 inch round seats eight comfortably. You can squeeze 10 if you need to. The 72 inch round seats 10 comfortably and you can squeeze 12 people in there if you need to. So um, for a 60 inch table, you need a 120 inch linen because you wanna make sure the linen comes all the way to the ground and maybe even has a little bit left over to tuck underneath the table to give you like the nice sort of tulip skirt shape look to the bottom of your tablecloth. Um, a 72 inch round table, you need a 132 inch linen to make sure it comes all the way to the ground. Uh, what if you have rectangular tables? So a six foot and an eight foot table are the most common sizes for rectangular tables. So you need a 90 inch by 132 inch cloth to cover a six foot banquet table. And you need a 90 inch by 156 inch cloth to cover an eight foot table. The width of the table is the same. It's just the length that changes. So that's why the, the 90 dimension doesn't change. It's just the tablecloth gets longer on the other side. Then um, as far as cocktail tables or like a cake table or a sweetheart table or something like that, if you have a 36 inch round table, you need a 96 inch linen to make sure it comes all the way to the ground. Unless the cocktail tables are high top tables because those are higher off the ground. So if you have a 36 inch high top, you need a 132 inch linen to make sure it comes all the way down to the ground. And we often also gather in the middle, like tie with a bow because the tall cocktail tables just have a spindle in the middle. They don't have four legs. So we can cinch in the tablecloth in the middle and tie it with a bow and that looks really nice, but you need a little extra fabric to make that happen. So um, the first thing you have to do is think about what color of tablecloth you might want, but then you have to figure out what tables do you actually need tablecloths for? So if you're doing farm tables for your guest tables, those long wooden tables that are like really nice and designed to be exposed and the plates and everything just go right on the table with no tablecloth, then fine, you know, you, your job is easier. Um, but if you have any other kind of table, it will need to be covered with a cloth. So however many guest tables you have, you need a tablecloth for each one of those. If you're doing a sweetheart table, you need a cloth for that. If you're doing a head table, it's probably gonna be made up of multiple banquet tables, so you'll need multiple tablecloths to cover that. Any cocktail tables or high top tables that you have. Your cake table. If you're doing a group of favors on display for people to take on their way out, if you're putting them on the guest tables, then you don't have to worry about this, but if you're grouping them somewhere like near the exit or the entrance, then you'll need a table and probably a tablecloth for them. Escort cards, if you're doing a large seating chart, then you don't need a table for that. Uh, it's probably gonna stand on an easel, but if you're doing individual tented cards, you'll need a table and a tablecloth for those. Your cards and gifts table and your guest book table, which might be all one table, might be two tables, you'll need cloths for those. Um, the buffet and the bar. So some catering companies, even if they don't do all the linens, they will provide the linens for their tables, for their buffet tables and their bar tables if they're running the bar. Um, some companies don't use tables for the bar. They have like a bar front type of a thing. Um, and so then you don't have to worry about it, but it's just something to talk to your caterer about how many tables are they gonna have and use and do they need tablecloths for them? Same thing with the bar if you're using an outside company. And then your DJ table. Um, again, some DJs have like a DJ booth that they bring, but some just use a six foot banquet table. And so that's something you need to talk to your DJ about, find out what their format is, how they set up and whether they need a table and or a tablecloth to go on it. And that should cover you, unless you have some other, you know, uh, unusual table. Those are the standard tables that you will need tablecloths for. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, whether it's about linens or something else, feel free to comment on this video or um, my website is linked in, in the description and you can find me there and send me an email. Pretty easy to reach. Uh, if you like this video, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up because that helps other people find it. And I will be back next week to talk about more wedding stuff. Bye for now.